AOPA Live's Paul Harrop introduces you to some of the World War II Civil Air Patrol members who now have the honor of the Congressional Gold Medal. The Congressional Gold Medal represents the highest expression of the people's appreciation for distinguished achievements and contributions. The first recipient was General George Washington. Today we honor the World War II members of the Civil Air Patrol with the Congressional Gold Medal. They served selflessly, often at their own expense. They used their own aircraft, first to spot German boats and later to actually attack them. They came from all walks of life, all ages and all demographics, from titans of industry to 13-year-old girls like Carolyn Gurton. You played a pretty important role keeping the airplanes going. Well, yeah, well, it wasn't that important. <laughs> well, it sure was. <laughs> we just, uh, well, we kept them clean and uh, just odds and ends. Don't let her humble nature fool you. Carolyn would learn to fly a plane six years before she learned to drive a car. She's been in the Civil Air Patrol for 73 years. Jane Sutton was a young girl in Oklahoma. After Pearl Harbor, she felt the same call as the boys, and CAP was her way to serve. We all love America, you know, and to be attacked by the Japanese, uh, it, the whole world just uh, in America just came together as one group. Everybody did everything where they possibly could. And the Civil Patrol was one place where I could join and serve and feel like I was doing my part. Because at that time, they were not taking any women into any of the uh, different uh, groups, you know, Army, Navy, or anything. So the Civil Patrol was open to us. Now Jane and Carolyn and many others are getting the recognition they earned seven decades ago. Well, I just think it's wonderful that they finally recognized the members. Uh, I'm just sorry that so many of them have passed away that, that they really deserved it and never got it. Paul Harrop, AOPA Live. Thanks, Paul. Truly greatest generation. Good to see credit given where it's due. 64 Civil Air Patrol members died during World War II, flying missions to serve our country.